the philosophical foundation of education, the proponent of realism, Aristotle. When it comes to science, he is regarded as the father of biology. There is no other than Aristotle, who is also the father of realism. Good day everyone! I am Liberto C. Soria discussing the life of Aristotle as the main proponent of realism. Aristotle was born in Stagira on 384 BCE. Stagira is located in northern Greek kingdom of Macedonia. His father was Nicomachus, who was a court physician to King Amentus II. Little is known about his mother Poestes. Aristotle died at the age of 62 in Chalcis, located in Euboea in 322 BCE. Aristotle is known as the Greek philosopher who constructed the philosophy of natural realism. During his life, the Greek intellectual body of knowledge was moving away from a more religious base and towards a more scientific and natural view. Aristotle posed the focus that life was not based on predetermined aspects rather than humans used reason to shape their own destiny. Aristotle studied under Plato at the academy. Aristotle accepted Plato's concept of form but disagreed that reality was not non-material. He believed that reality was made up of form and matter. Unlike Plato, he believed that we need to look into outside world to find evidence of what is true. Aristotle used observation to make his discoveries and explore the fields of study. Aristotle focused on the pursuit of intellect. This drive made him conceive many questions about the nature of reality. When Aristotle would conduct research, he would look at the past and present literature on the topic and based his research questions on what the literature had presented. From the work of other Greek thinkers, Thales, Anaximander, Parmenides, Heraclitus, he established his intellectual background which led him to observe and explain reality. Subjects that were the most important in Aristotle's schooling were the grammar, math, philosophy, music, natural sciences, botany, biology, physiology, and zoology. The sciences were areas of study that Aristotle added the classical Greek curriculum. Aristotle wanted to construct a philosophy that was rooted with social, political, and ethical issues. Aristotle drew his philosophy of the Greek concept of arete, or the human excellence in all things. The idea was to create excellence in any pursuit. If this was attained in the society, then they would be inclined to be more politically and morally excellent. The educational component and style created to reach for Ariti is called for relationship, harmony, and balance. We experience the world through our senses. According to Aristotle, theoretical knowledge based on human observation and reflection is the best guide to human behavior. Matter is a form of hypothesis, wherein all objects we perceive through our senses are composed of matter. Matter is arranged according to different designs known as form. Without matter, nothing can exist. Matter carries the principles of potentiality. Matter has the potential of becoming something, but it must take on the form or design to become an object. Matter taking on a form is the principle of the actuality.
Aristotle's philosophy of education was centered on the human's ability of rationality. Humans use the power of reasoning in all aspects of learnings and life. This is what makes us human or separates from humans from animals. Aristotle's form of schooling was centered and shaped largely by his philosophy and scientific theories. That's all for today. Thank you.